everybody doing today? I got a, uh, another little service video. I had a couple people ask me for it at the beginning of last spring on the uh, Xmark mower, uh, which was uh, repacking the front caster wheel bearings as part of the uh, service in the book, but I just I didn't have time to do it last year and I put it off till this year. So uh, grass is starting to green up a little bit. Uh, it's warming up, so I'm gonna go ahead and get started and uh, do this part of the service and then show you guys how to do it. I'm gonna do, uh, I've got one wheel off and prepped and ready to repack, so I'm just gonna kinda show you the rundown of it and uh, for people that don't wanna watch the detailed video, they can just watch this part and I'll just show you basically what to do, so stay tuned. So we're here we have an Xmark Blazer Z uh, 2014, which is a mower we use here. And uh, what I'm going to be doing is changing the uh, wheel bearing grease out in these front uh, caster wheels. Uh, that uh, will prolong the, prolong the life of your bearings and uh, make them last a little bit longer. So what you want to start with is this bolt. Uh, right here holds the uh, basically the axle you know, to hold the wheel in there. So as you can see on this side, you got the nut and then the bolt that goes all the way through and uh, a lock nut here. So that is a uh, three quarter inch nut and you just basically loosen it and you're going to want to jack your mower up a little bit to get the weight off the wheels and then you'll just pull that out and then essentially you'll be left with just the wheel like so and as you can tell I've got mine cleaned out ready for new grease but before that you have a axle shaft not quite the proper term for it but uh, this actually sets inside uh, the wheel like this. Now the way you get this off is you notice there's a wrench flats uh, on both ends and it is a 15 16 is what I used. And you'll put a wrench on one end and a wrench on the other end and just uh, loosen it. And it's, it's threaded and, uh, on one end and it just once you unthread that piece, it'll come out, then you can just carefully pull this out. And this is what the uh, bearings uh, ride on. So uh, it's got uh, roller bearings in here. I'm just letting them soak, cleaning the old grease out. Um, the tapered end sits in. So if you're looking at it from the outside, this is the way to look at it. And the uh, races for these bearings if you see these little divots here, they're actually uh, built in uh, to this assembly. So there's the race uh, that the bearing sits in. And to get it out, you got to uh, get these uh, caster grease seals uh, popped up out of there. And uh, once you get them out, you just I had to stick a uh, punch in there and work them out. Uh, if you got a oil seal removal tool, you could use that. But I don't have one, so I may do with what I have, but just carefully, you know, get it pulled out of there. Be careful not to damage the bearing with your punch or whatever you're using or dent this up or in any way. So just take your time and it'll come out of there. And then you uh, get the other one out on the other side and then you just carefully pull your bearings out and I'm soaking mine in some uh, degreaser to get the old grease that was built up out of them and then I'm gonna repack them and if you have your manual uh, it'll tell you what kind of grease to use I don't have it in front of me right now at this moment in time so I couldn't tell you the exact kind of wheel bearing grease it says, but basically you just get yourself a bunch of paper towels and clean all the old grease out. 
and go from there. So, hmm. anyway, I'll leave a link in the description to the uh, part number um, for this. And uh, also, I forgot uh, there's two dust caps uh, on each side of the wheel. I'll show you. They just they sit on there you can see them like that and the bolt goes through and they just simply come off so make sure you clean them out too uh, i got my bearings all cleaned off all the old grease clean out of them now we're gonna reinstall them and repack this wheel so i got two of my seals in at the x mark dealer they had to order the other two so i'm gonna have to wait uh, to do the other wheel uh, these go right here where the old ones came out and the grease that the manual calls for is NLG1 grade 1 grease but nobody around carries that grease around here grade 1 all that everybody has around me locally is uh, grade 2 so this is just going to have to work so now what I'm going to do is I'm just going to repack this like it was and put the bearings in and dry the seals in. Alright, so I got a uh, socket that fits, which is a 32 millimeter. So I'm to dry the seal in here. Alright, so now I got this side in. Flip it over. I'm gonna pack the rest of it. Camera died. But anyway, you're gonna run that uh, through there, poke it through, take your nut. Once you get that little axle shaft in there and tightened up, be sure not to tighten it too tight. You don't want to get it super tight. What I just did is I tightened it down basically pretty much a little over hand tight and backed it off just about an eighth to a quarter of a turn. Just make sure it rolls freely and doesn't feel like it's grinding or anything. And uh, also, when you're driving these uh, oil seals, grease pertaining seals in, make sure you don't drive them in too far. Uh, pretty much a little less or almost flush with the, uh, the rim here. That's what you want to do. So then you take your dust caps. That's pretty much it. Um, waiting on the seals to get in to do that side. Uh, once I get them in, I said it'd probably be a week. I'll uh, do a little more detailed video of taking the wheel off and getting the uh, bearing and the uh, seals out. So be on the lookout for that. Um, anyway, this is pretty much all of it on this side so I hope you enjoyed this video hopefully it helped you out I'm sure there's probably a better way or maybe even an easier way to do it than what I just did but this is how I do it and it works pretty good for me so uh, hopefully it helps somebody out thanks for watching